Yo, what's going on guys? Kultamush back at it with another video, and this is a video I've wanted to make for a little while now, and that's to really talk about the sudden boom of open world games, the popularity of open world games. We're seeing all these developers developing these big open world games. You're seeing games in series which previously weren't open world games being turned into open world games like with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. You're seeing that with the new Mirror's Edge, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. It looks like the new Homefront game is going to be an open world game, so it's obvious to see that these developers are really trying to make a lot of their games open world world titles and it seems like a lot of the gamers really love their open world games. While I myself am really digging this, I am so happy that we're getting games like The Witcher 3, we're getting Fallout 4 next month, Metal Gear Solid was an open world game, Just Cause 3 is releasing which is a game that a lot of people are forgetting about but yes Just Cause 3 is releasing in December and right now we're getting more open world games than ever. But that's not always good, to me open world games used to be special like when The Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim came out that was the first open world game in a little while. That game felt special but now there is a lot of competition and is it going to get to the point where it becomes like first person shooters i don't know if you guys remember but around when call of duty 4 was released and that game sold huge i believe the year that call of duty 4 was released halo 3 was also released and that started like a gigantic boom of first person shooters where every developer was trying to make first person shooters and it just became overkill at a point while right now it's really nice that we're seeing all these influxes of open world games i mean just this year we've had dying light the witcher 3 mad max metal gear solid 5 fallout 4 is coming, Just Cause 3 is coming, there's a lot of open world games. And the fact that you're getting like 8 or 9 open world games in a year alone is absolutely ridiculous. I don't think we've ever seen that in any other year of gaming. Now a couple reasons why these open world games are being released now. Obviously we just moved to the next generation consoles, so making games like Dying Light, Fallout 4 has become much easier. I mean you look at The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on PS3, when that was released on PS3, man that game was so broken that it was almost impossible for developers to create working open world games on last generation consoles. Even with the PS4 and Xbox One, you still see games like The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt running on a really bad frame rate, but I digress. With the PS4 and Xbox One being released, it's at least made it easier for developers to make these open world titles. Also, I think another big reason why these open world games are gaining a lot of fame is because gamers have become very selective with their purchases. Especially in North America, the economy is not great. People are not buying every video game that comes out. If you're the person that only buys three or four games a year, well, for open world games, those are the kind of games that you're going to put a lot of hours into. I mean, if you bought the Witcher 3 back in May, you might still be playing it now. If you bought Metal Gear Solid 5 in September, you're probably still playing that now if you're doing all the content and whatnot. If you're buying Fallout 4 in November, you're probably going to play that well into next year. So I think that's the real appeal of open world games, that gamers look at these games and they're like, man, I can lose hours upon hours to these games. While you look at other games, you might spend 8 hours on a single player campaign, might dabble in multiplayer for a bit, but then you're done with it. With open world games, most of them you're going to spend over 100 hours on and in some games over 200 hours maybe even 300 hours. And I think for the developer marketing their game, having the tagline over 200 hours of content is very freaking appealing to the gamer. But I just hope it doesn't get to a point with like first person shooters a few years back where like every developer is trying to make them. They're just trying to make these games to make a couple bucks. I don't want the open world games market to get cluttered like that. Right now we're getting a lot of quality titles. I'm sure Just Cause 3 is going to be good. I'm sure Fallout 4 is going to be good. The Witcher 3 was amazing. Metal Gear Solid 5 was great. These open world titles right now are very good and that's what I want. If these developers are gonna make open world games and people are gonna buy them, great. I just don't want it to get to a point where a lot of developers start making them, just making them to make a buck. But I also imagine for open world games that would be kind of hard to do, since the developers would have to have a decent budget to create one of these games. I mean, these games are huge. It takes a giant team to create one of these games. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about the influx of all these open world games? We're getting a ton of them. I know I'm in favor of it. I like games where I can explore, really do whatever the hell I want, but what do you guys guys think? Do you guys think it's becoming too much too soon? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, guys, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.